What's going on, people? Who everything is fine, everything is going well for you. You know, um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about renewing my ASL 104 certificate. What's it like? What was entail? You know, how difficult it was. If it was difficult, it wasn't that difficult, to be honest with you. But first, you know, apologies, you know, for not actually posting for such a long time. I know you subscribe and you're looking for, you know, as much info as you possibly can. And basically, I haven't posted anything. And the reason why, man, I have moved. But I move into a really sweet house, let me tell you, right? Well, I've got my own office again, you know. And listen, it's quiet. I was by a main road before. Whoosh, whoosh. You know, all that noise and stuff like that. Gone. Well, at least for now. Let's see what happens because there's a new development happening right next door. Anyway, I got my own office, got all my books here, you know, got my vision board ready, you know, you know, if you got a vision, you got a hope, man. And check out all the books. Those aren't actually my IT books. I got some IT books down here, you know, quickly in recess. I got to get rid of that COVID gut. Ugh. But anyway, let's talk about the renewing of the AZ-104. What was that like? What the gotchas are, you know? and take you through the process so you can pass. So let's talk about the first instance. I got an email from you know Microsoft qualification to be able to say, yeah, your cert's about to expire. Uh, time for you to renew. So you click on the link and it takes you to here. Now, as you can see, my cert hasn't expired because I've renewed it. I, I just said this in the beginning. And you know, I'm valid until the 9th of, was that March 2023? Expires in 400. And, is that 90 days, 30 days? I ain't got my glasses, man. Don't know where they are. I took them off so you can see my eyes. Anyway, and um, basically what it is is that it, it tells you like what's renewed. You know, what are the things you need to learn to renew your certificate? You know, so here the skills are measured in this. And, you know, it tells you about where to go. But good news, all the training material, still free you know, and it follows the whole syllabus. So there's absolutely nothing for you to worry about whatsoever. Anyway, when you, when you go through the, the certain material, it tells you how many days you need to be able to take the qualification. If I needed to take this qualification at ASAP, you'll see that this is like a golden yellow sort of thing. You click on that and where you go. Now, here you go. What is it that you need to know? These are the things. If you didn't pass, you know, you, you need to revisit preparation materials because you didn't study like me. And basically, after your second attempt, you need to wait 24 hours between each retake. Okay. It doesn't say each, but you, you, you read that there for yourself. The point I'm trying to say is, is that in your first two attempts, if you fail then you need to wait 24 hours until the next one. So if you were to do your qualification at 5 a.m. in the morning like me, where it's nice, peaceful, and quiet, guess what? You have to wait until 5 a.m. the next day until you could retake the exam. Or you could take it at 6 or 7 after that point. But the point being, after the 24-hour retake. Now, here's a sweet thing about this. You don't have to, um, you know, there's no, uh, you know, exam proctor who's saying you need to clear desk policy or anything of the sort it is an open book exam meaning you can google if you want to or you can print off material and just have it there uh, ready for you to read so you can pass the exam but to be honest with you there's no point so my first two attempts uh, i failed and miserably <laughs> got 20 percent or so and that's because i just didn't study after I, I studied the material on my third attempt, my score improved, didn't pass. And when I finished all the material, I passed. So take it from me, just study the material and you will pass. Um, there's the NDA here. And basically what that means is, is that, look, don't take screenshots of the exam. Don't share the exam with people. Don't screw it up for the rest of the people. people. Um, you know, be sensible. Don't do dumb things so that we can actually, you know, don't do dumb things that cause other people to suffer. Now, I think Microsoft sees is that if you do a dumb thing, guess what? They do revoke your qualification. It alludes to in the NDA, read it yourself. And 
if you do something like you know share the material stuff like that they'll probably remove your qualifications full stop or stop you from taking exams in the future i don't know point being is why tempt fate why why bite the hand that feeds you anyhow we we move on so the prep the prepared material for this particular course, this exam is, let's call it six hours. Let's run it out to six hours. But guess what, man? There's some really new things to learn. Okay. Uh, the domain on Azure DNS is something I know already. These are backup. Uh, that's a given. If you do anything in production, you need to know about backup. But it covers Docker, you know, and it covers Kubernetes. And let me tell you, the material in this is so good for Kubernetes that you do know what the hell you're doing, one. But two, if I had actually have known the material was here probably a month ago before I did this, this I had an a interview for Kubernetes role, I would have got that Kubernetes role because some of the stuff, some of the material that I see popping up here were in the questions in the interview. Okay, I would have known Kubernetes to have Mr. but look, I'm a quick learner. I would have taken on board. But if I had known this material was here, sure enough, I would have passed that, that technical um, interview qualification, uh, interview you know, assessment, for sure, for sure. Anyway, move on. So let's talk about this a little bit and we'll wrap it up, okay? Because nothing exciting here for you to know other than how to do the renewal. But, you know, if you have a AZ-104 or AZ-400, you need to do renewal. I don't see it for... AZ-900 or DP-900 um, or 500, but I do see it for, you know, the DevOps. So if you don't know or you haven't actually received any emails yet, well, all you need to do is go to certificates, go to, I think it's browse certificates, right? Yeah, it is. Tap in there to Azure. Um, the field of interest, in our particular case is DevOps. So we just click on that, click on your qualification. Okay, you don't see anything here about renewal, but scroll all the way to the bottom, right? And it says, are you currently certified? Learn more about renewing. And Shazam tells you right there, boom, as easy as that, smooth as pudding. Um, and that's about it, so, you know, if you're, if you're fretting about doing your renewal or stuff like that or delaying it, thinking that you need to have like a budget or you need to be able to have some sort of long, long period of time study and stuff like that, don't fret, man. It's, it's right there. It's easy. You know, it won't be a problem at all. Um, really, really simple for you to pass. Just dedicate your time. Please, for the love of God, don't share the materials. And just learn the materials, you know. Because when you learn the materials, not only are you adding value to your qualifications, you're adding value to your family because you can get a really nice job. And secondly, you know, it, it, it's no longer a paper certificate. You know, it's just not a piece of paper that says, yeah, you got the cert. You know your stuff. Do it properly. Do it well. Thank you. In next video, I'll probably talk about the market. The market significantly changed, don't you think? You know? The market has changed to the point where it's like paying a whole lot better. A lot of roles are remote. And if you're here in the UK and you want to work for an American firm, you can. Seriously. Because a lot of Yanks are starting to steal some UK residents to work for American firms, paying a significant amount of cash. Me talking big bucks here, people. And well, there's rumors and stuff and things that I've seen on LinkedIn and everything the sort. But point being is we'll probably talk more about the market and how things have changed. Okay. Especially for the time for this end of year, man, it is booming. It is good. It is good stuff. Anyway, people, thank you very much. Take care. Pass your pass your certs, pass your exams.